Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel AT Commerce tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about update order status. So let's see how can we update the order status from admin panel. Uh, so first of all, let's add some column in order tables. Uh, for adding new column, uh, let's create a migration. So switch to the command prompt. And for creating the migration, just type here the command php artisan make colon migration space migration name so right here add underscore uh, delivered and uh, cancel date okay, to orders table orders table and also add the other table name so just write here dash dash table is equal to orders all right, now press enter. All right, migration created. Now switch to the project. And let's open the migration. So just go inside the database directory, then migration. And uh, from this directory, just open the migration. You can see here the migration at delivered, canceled, uh, date to order table. Okay, this migration. Let's open this. Now inside this migration, uh, let's add some column here. So just write here dollar table arrow data type date and column name delivered uh, delivered underscore date and also add a tunnel label. All right. And one more column, dollar table, date, and here column name cancelled, cancelled underscore date. Okay, also set here the null label column. All right, and now let's copy this. And paste inside this schema. Okay. All right. Now save this. And now let's uh, run this migration. So just do a command prompt. And for migrating the migration, just type here the command php artisan migrate. Okay. And now press enter. All right. Migration done. Now let's run the application. So just write here PHP artisan uh, cell. All right. Now switch to the project. Now let's open the admin order component view file. So for that, just go inside the resources directory, resources, then views, live wire, admin, and uh, from here just open admin order component dot blade dot php file okay this one and inside this file uh, inside this storage after this td uh, let's add here another td and inside this uh, let's add here a drop down so right here div class drop down okay and add here a button button class btn btn success and also add here the btn small sm drop down drop down dash toggle all right Type is equal to button data dash toggle is equal to drop down. All right, and inside this button, just right here, a text the status. All right, and after this, uh, add a span tag. Span and class 
Eric. And just close the suspend tag. Okay. And now after this, add your evil tag, evil class drop down dash menu and just add here the li tag then anchor tag href as alright and inside this anchor tag just add here a text delivered and now just copy this and paste Next here and change here the text cancel. Okay, there are two status: it is delivered and second is cancelled. All right, and now inside the th uh, this action, let's add here call span, call span two, and also add here the class text center. Okay, and now save this as, and let's check this drop down. So, switch to the browser and just refresh the page. And now you can see here the drop down. Uh, drop down it uh, is not working, uh, it's working. Okay, you can see here the drop down. Okay, these two options delivered and cancelled. Alright, now switch to the project and let's open the admin order complete class file. So let's go inside the app directory, then uh, HTTP, live wire, admin, and from here just open admin order component.php file. Okay, and inside this file, uh, let's create a function public function and uh, function name. Uh, let's say function name is update order status okay and inside this function pass two argument uh, first argument is order underscore id and second argument which is a status status and now inside this function let's create an object of order order is equal to model name order colon colon find and uh, inside this just pass here this order id dollar order id and now dollar order arrow status status is equal to dollar status all right and now add here the if condition if status the status this one okay is equal to delivered in dollar order arrow delivered underscore date is equal to db and also import here the db okay like this then colon colon raw and add here a text current underscore date right after this is to add here the if condition if a status is equal to cancel okay then let's copy this line and paste here and change here the column name cancel underscore date okay this one and after this just call here the save method uh, order order arrow save and now inside the session call here the flash flash uh, set the key here, order underscore message and simply put here a message order a status has been updated successfully. Alright. 
okay now let's copy this function name and save this and go to the view file and inside this anchor tag uh, let's add here wire colon uh, click event click action dot prevent is equal to function name this one and uh, add here the parenthesis sign then pass here order id so double curly bracket dollar order arrow id then add here comma sign and uh, just pass here the status tell you okay and now let's copy this and paste inside the anchor tag and change here the status so cancel it all right okay and now for uh, showing this message uh, let's copy this order underscore message this key and uh, inside this view file uh, before this table let's add here if directed if session colon colon has this key okay order underscore message then first close this in div if directed and inside this add here div class is equal to mm, alert alert sub this also add here the role alert okay and inside this div just print here the message so write here session column column get and add here the key name order underscore message all right okay now save this all right so now let's check this so switch to the browser and just to press the page all right now let's uh is the status of this order so click on the status then i'm just going to uh, select this one delivered and you can see here the message order status has been updated successfully and here you can see the status delivered okay now uh, let's click on details page and inside the details page uh, let's show here the order number and also status okay and delivery date all right so for that switch to the project and let's open the admin order uh, details component view file this one and uh, uh, before this row let's add here inside this container that row in column md12 and now add here the panel so write here panel dash uh, sorry dash dot panel dash default okay then let's copy this panel heading and uh, paste here and now after this and also change the text order order details okay and uh, from here just remove this link and after this panel heading let's add here the panel body panel dash body and inside this let's add here the table table and class table and inside this let's add here a dr tag in ph th and so here the order id td and double curly bracket dollar order and id all right now let's copy this and paste here change here the text order order okay 
and here created underscore add uh, order ID order date and uh, let's show here the status order of status order arrow status and if order uh, a status is delivered then so here the delivery date and uh, if order status is cancelled so here the cancel date okay so for that just add here the if condition click if dollar order order arrow status is equal to delivered okay then so here the delivery date delivery date and uh, also add here the column name delivery delivered delivered underscore date and add here the else, else part else if dollar order arrow status is equal to cancelled okay then so here the cancel date cancellation date and after this choose here the directive change here the text cancellation Cancellation date and here change the column name cancel date. All right. Okay. Now it's done. So check this and let's check this. Switch to the browser and just refresh the page. Now you can see here the order details, order ID, order date, the status delivered and you can see here the delivery date. Alright. Now click on all orders and uh, uh, let's change the status of this order. So click on the status and this time click on cancelled. A status updated okay you can see here the status cancelled now click on details link and here you can see the order id order date and the status cancelled and cancellation date all right so uh, so in this way you can update order status so that's all about uh, update order status so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching